All right, guys, here we are at the backyard shop where we do what we got to do and however we can get it done. Okay, guys, right now he's going to work on the brakes today. So what we're going to do is change the brake pad, rotor, and caliper. It's been sticking real bad. Got a jack stand up underneath there. He's raising it up. Going to put it on the jack stand. Okay. Once it's up, guys, on the jack stand and the wheels off, we'll be back up on here and show you what he's got going on. Got it sitting on the jack stand. What did you set that jack stand on? One notch up. Uh, okay, he don't understand what I'm saying. But he put the weight of the truck on. That jack stand is on the frame. It's on the differential. What's it on? Let me see. He's got it on the axle there, guys. You see? Yeah, on the axle. Nice. Differential axle. I would have chose the frame myself, but I guess it'll work right there, guys. That's how you do it. I see a lot of people do that right there. Yeah. All right, guys. Now we're gonna take the wheel off so we can get to the brakes. First, we gotta take the wheel off. What is that you're using, Joey? Uh, this is the Bauer Ampac wrench. Electric plugs yeah, into the wall? Electric Ampac wrench. Corded. Corded. Alright, go ahead and pull them all off. You still got tension on that jack, right? After you let it down yeah, on the. I got tension on it, still. After you let it down on the jack, you put tension back, right? Right, you lifted it back up to where it's tight on it after yep. you after you put the jack stand in there. All right, guys, let me show you this here. This here caliper on this side rear bracket has been sticking for a while. Woo! <laughs> Damn, it's bad. Okay. It's stuck right now. See that? See? Oh, you got, that's right, it's in gear. I mean, you can't do that. Look how bad that rotor is. But he got brand new rotors. Guys, I had made a video of uh, all the parts he got. Hold He's on. got. I'm right here. You can see where the edge is broke off. Oh, on the rotor, it's broke off. It sure is, guys. Look at the rotor. It's broke right there. See that, guys? Can't really see my screen because of the sun. Yep, there it is. At any rate, I had taken a video of all the parts that he bought. He's got new rotors, pads, calipers, uh, and a few other things for the other truck. He actually spent $561 in parts. Now, just the brake job back here, what I figured out a shop, if we was to open up the shop and actually have charge people to do brakes and get with everything we're fixing to do here with all new parts, it was about, about what was it, like $1,100, Joey? Yeah, but you can save a little bit if you get them done in time before that rotor gets that bad and you have the rotors turn. But uh, you know what? In order for us to turn them rotors, we have to take them off, take them up to Napa because we don't have the, uh, the brake lakes. Although, I've been thinking about getting one, huh, Joey? That and a tire machine, a couple other things, Although right? I didn't think about it, but I do have two good rotors that came off my other truck there when I did the brakes on it and I went on ahead and replaced the rotors. Uh, I could have took those and had them turn. Yeah, I got them right here. Yeah. <laughs> They're like new, all we gotta do is have them turn. Look, I got the whole set over there. Yep. After you done ordered those, I forgot, and I told them, I said, man, look, and they're pretty smooth, but they do need turn. But off the other truck, when I have put new rotors instead of, told him, man, have them turn. I got the whole set over here, but I guess I got me some weight with some strap, because these are big money. But I have forgot about those, and I've ordered new rotors for the truck anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and replace it with new rotors. He forgot about them until after we got the new ones, and I told him, I said, you know, man, I wasn't thinking about it. 
But I saved them old rotors. I got those because uh, I never had a trip to the scrapyard yet, okay? They're like new, they can be turned. If you got you a uh, 205, 01, 06, 07, you got you a 2500 HD and you need some rotors, listen, hit us up, man. We'll give you them rotors. All you got to do is take and get them turned and put them on your vehicle. You save you a little bit of money. All right, now I guess I'll stop here. You're going to take that caliper off. What are you looking at right now? What are you doing? Make sure this is the right socket I got for this. See, you guys, uh, you got the video going? Uh, yeah. See, guys, with this truck here, you can't take the caliper off by itself. You have to take the whole bracket and everything off with it. To take the, uh, the caliper bolts, the, spring, the leaf springs get in the way to be able to get anything on these caliper bolts. So you have to take the whole bracket and everything off with it to get it off. So what are you going to use to do that? You do, uh, I have an 18 millimeter socket and a breaker bar. The breaker bar I could use it for the bottom one, but the top one I might have to use a three quarter inch drive ratchet with a breaker bar. And a pipe. With a pipe. A cheetah pipe, yeah. Alright guys, you got that big breaker bar on it with the 18 millimeter socket, right? Yep. Go ahead, break it. You get it down? Did it loosen it? Yeah, all right, guys, it's loosening that. That's the that's the bottom one or the top one, Joey? Which one you on? Bottom one. Okay, that's the bottom one. Now he's going to put a ratchet on it and ratchet that on off, and then it'll go to the top one the same way, guys. If he has to use the cheater pipe and the ratchet, I'll show you all that, too. Hold on a second. All right, guys, real quick, before you take the caliper off, like when he's breaking there, he's breaking the bolts with 18 millimeter, he's already uh, loosened the brake line nut that holds the brake line to the caliper so that after he gets this off, he'll be able to take it off easy. But the reason why he didn't take the brake line caliper all the way off, or the line off all the way off, is because it will drip, 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 drip. So we're going to wait till we absolutely have to get the line off there, and then we're going to put a little bolt or something under it. But first, you want to break loose the, the copper nut that's over the compression washer that holds your brake line into the caliber. Loosen that. What, what size wrench did you use to loosen that? 716. 716, guys. That there's the brake line uh, to loosen the brake line. And then after he gets the bracket off, we'll take the brake line all the way off. Well, that will be right back, guys. All right, guys, I don't really like this, but the leaf string springs in the way, so it's basically the only way you can do it is you put it on a ratchet right there like that. With a cheetah pipe, Joy, you should lay down on the back and do like a... Here, let me hold this up for you while you get down there, and then you can let it go down, and then you can do like, what, a bench press, right? Yeah. Hopefully this works, guys, and don't break my ratchet, because sometimes you're going to break the ratchet with this. But uh, with this particular breaker bar, it won't set in there with the... Uh... Got it. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't break my ratchet, guys. That was pretty quick. But with this particular breaker bar, because I got that extension on there, that adapter, it won't fit between that and the leaf springs. But I probably got another breaker bar that I could put that socket directly on. He just don't know it. It's in my other toolbox for the... It's actually in the toolbox for the motorcycle. I got a regular breaker bar. He don't have to use that big one like that. I got a smaller one for, you know, the smaller sockets. I bought that bigger one specifically for the harmonic balancer on this diesel because you got that. There's a lot of, of course, you know, with these big trucks like this, there's a lot of, you know, things that are going to be torqued down, you know. That's well, these bracket bolts, the reason you have to use breaker bars because they come from the factory with red Loctite put on them and when you put them back on you use red Loctite. Yeah well actually they come from the factory with like a, like a yellow Loctite. Yeah it's like a pipe dope they put on there. It's just really hard to get off but whenever you replace them which I'm sure these have been replaced before when you put them back on you put them back on using red Loctite. Okay, guys, with that, as soon as the caliber comes off, we'll show y'all that. We'll take it as a little break here in the video, but with the magic of video, it's going to be like it's an uh, instant. Okay, guys, we'll be right back. All right, guys, it took, what, two, three whacks with a little 12-ounce hammer 
on the back of it to get it off. All right, guys, it says we're in luck. You got brake parts cleaner and some dot three brake fluid. This is for whenever we go for leading the brakes. We're going to want to make sure we have plenty of brake fluid. Okay, guys, now we're going to put brand new calipers in there, but if you use your old caliber and you push the plunger back in on that caliper whenever you do it, listen, there's a bleeder valve on the caliber. Can you show them a new caliber? Does it have the bleeder valve already on it? But whenever you do your brakes, before you push them plungers back in on that caliper, if you're going to use your old one, Open that bleeder valve so the old fluid comes out of the caliper so that it don't push back up into the system because it will destroy your master cylinder if you push them plungers in without opening that bleeder valve. You're taking a big risk on destroying that master cylinder underneath the hood. Okay? Bleeder valve right there at the top. Yeah, see guys? It's a bleeder valve. See right there? Take the little rubber piece off. Take a wrench, open that up, and uh, that's all there. Here, there, take the caliper. Okay. Now, see, so if we wasn't going to use new calipers, we would open that bleeder valve. Hopefully, I was able to show y'all because I couldn't see. But uh, there's it's on that caliper too. We'd open that before we push them plungers back in, so that uh, all the old fluid comes out rather than back up towards the master cylinder. Because the master cylinder, guys, listen. If y'all don't know what you're doing. Do not mess with it, okay? Do not. And even with your stupid YouTube videos, let me tell you something. I've done plenty of master cylinders, okay? If you don't know what you're doing, do not mess with it because now you're putting everybody's life in danger. Because you get out on the road with no brakes. But that's a whole nother story, guys. I, I got a jig set back up there where I do my master cylinders. I don't even put them in a vise. I actually bolt them to a jig. Huh, Joey? Yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, here's the new rotor and we realized why that other one broke like it did. You see there is an actual groove in it right here to show once it gets warped past this groove right here, you can no longer turn these rotors. You see the groove in it right there? That's why it broke because it's done been warped past that groove. So that rotor can no longer be turned. There it is guys, now we know why the top of it looked like that. We yep. just want to show y'all that real quick. That's the new one fixing to go on. We're going to check the bolt pattern. Okay. And that's all there is to it, guys. All it's right. so easy peasy. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and clean it up with the brake You can't. Oh, you got to clean both sides, huh? All right, guys, we're going to turn it off. Why? Go, go stand up and do that, Joy. That's just going to burn your legs, man. You get a chemical burn. Put it on top of the cardboard whenever you do it. Don't, yeah. don't do it on my grass. You can do it in the concrete on the on the cardboard. All right, guys. We'll be right back. He's gonna do it on the concrete. He's gonna clean them off. All right, guys. We might have to take it to the vice in the backyard to do it. But wait, don't try yet. Okay. But we're gonna use this here. These, these two bolts right here come out to take the caliper off the bracket. It's a T55 Torx bit. T55 Torx bit. T55 Torx bit. Not an Allen key. It's not an Allen wrench. It is a T55 Torx bit. Hey, if you can get it here without taking it to the vice, he'll do it here. We're probably going to have to take it to the vice. Guys, I'll show it to you after it's all together. Well, when I did it on the red truck, I was able to get it without taking it to the vice. So I'm going to try it first here. All right, you're going to try it here, guys. But no need in showing you how all that right there. It's easy peasy. On it real good. Well, he didn't have to take it to the vice, and I kind of turned on the record after he said it's a matter of holding your arm down on it real good. He's just trying to show off, man. He's trying to show off. Okay, guys, we'll be back with it when the pads are in it. Well, guys, this ain't showing off. This is just uh, mainly uh, the kind of job I do for to make money. I have to be able to do stuff like this, too. Listen, guys, if he was smart, he'd bring that battery-operated impact wrench he got in there that will fit that, that torx bit that torx right bit will go right on the on the bit of it and we took it right off a whole lot less worse but i'm gonna let him do the work guys rather than make it easy quick and easy even though the tool inside to make it a breeze huh <laughs> now with these caliper bolts you want to put a uh, brake caliper grease on them when you put them back on i got that can over there Yep, brake and collar, you grease them up real good, that's correct. You bought a 
a whole new thing of breaking caliber grease? I have bought that when I did the red truck. You know, I had one in there already, right? You couldn't find it. That's why I bought it. Yeah, I had one in there already. I got... You also got Loctite, or not Loctite, but anti-seize. I got copper anti-seize, and I got aluminum anti-seize. Got all that in there, but that's all right. The more you got, that means it's going to be that much longer before you run out. Man, listen, I need a shop. I'm going to have to open a shop just to take care of my own vehicles, man. I got so many of them now, it's really becoming a pain in the ass, man. Huh, Joey? We got so many of them, all our kids and our sisters and brothers, and everybody wants us to do all theirs, and they say it's free because we're family. <laughs> well, they say we're family, right, Joey? <laughs> And uh, I really don't have time to do this myself. They say, we'll bring them the parts. Okay, guys, it looks like he's trying to put the caliper back on right now with the new one, but I'm going to show y'all something real quick. See, I had him bring this yellow toolbox. I already knew where exactly where it was, okay? It was inside that yellow toolbox. That's the smaller one. And this one right here, I got a lot of specialty tools for the motorcycle, things like that. Check it out, guys. Tell us in the comment section. We'll know if you watched this far. Do y'all know what this is? Who can tell me what this is, huh? Which one of you guys can tell me what this is? Do y'all know? <laughs> All right. All right, guys. We've been out here fighting with this, fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting. And what we got here is the, the bolt pattern on these rotors are correct. But that center hole right there, it is not. You see how that rotor? Yep, the center hole is. The center hole is smaller. Okay, on these new rotors we ordered from Detroit Axle. Been out here fighting and fighting and fighting. Now we don't have no choice but to go to O'Reilly. Spent a couple hundred dollars on rotors, okay? See? Hold on, well, you know what?